Hello, everybody. Welcome to the, I don't know which race this is of the tourney, but one of the races of the Fire Red Leaf Green Pokemon tourney. We are in round one, my dude. Round one, of course. And race four, although the numbers don't really matter too much. The important bit is we've got Ananan, Icy, and Blue Magma. So this should be a banger race. For sure. All the runners are doing different routes. We will definitely have a lot of things to look at. Yes, this could be a, this could be a bit of an adventure for us. We've got to do some real work here. Yeah. <laughs> we've, got three, we've got two runners who are not to really spoil anything because it's going to show up in the first minute or so, but we've got two runners that are going to be picking a different starter. And of those two, they're both doing a different version of the route <laughs> with that starter, so this is just going to be complex as hell. Yeah, I have no idea like at what point of the race they will actually be like actually comparable the runs. I think once they get past Rock Tunnel, they'll be comparable ish. But it's not gonna be perfect. Yeah. Looks like our races are going to be about ready. We're getting underway shortly. I know that Ananan's going to have to take the 25 second nebulator penalty. Um, I believe Ice is running on DS, so he won't be. Oh, Ice is on hardware. I did not know that. That's he has cool. a he has a DS capture card for Pearl Runs, and I believe he's using it today for for Oh, that's. Cool. Ice did press continue, so he loses about five seconds right at the start. That's not great. <laughs> But yeah, we're off. Uh, Adamant is going to be waiting for the mandatory 25 seconds to account for the emulator difference. But we are away. So yeah, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a dark horse in uh, Blue Magma. I don't think anybody really knows how how well he's learned the run yet, how well practiced he is. Yeah, exactly. But like. Having seen him play Sapphire, he definitely has the skill to do the execution. So it's Absolutely. only a matter of the knowledge on the route. Yeah, but I'm 100%. assuming we will be getting a very tight race here. No worries, side. DS is a bit of an unusual pick in a way. Um, it's actually not optimal because of how fast or slow, in this case, the game runs. It's not going to matter significantly. It's a matter of a few seconds across the run. But most people avoid doing Gen 3 runs on DS where they can. Yeah, we've got a full mix of them here. We've got uh, Ananan Emulator Leaf Green, Icy Console Leaf Green, and Blue Magma Console Fire Red. Um, for anybody not aware, the, the only major difference is that Fire Red can't get a Sandshrew as their cut friend. But also, clearing the intro screen in Fire Red takes like 7 frames less, I think. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I did not know that. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's gone for top Charmander as well. <laughs> Why, brother? Everybody loading into the backup saves here. So, Icy and Anna will be running Charmander here. It is, it's a very minor difference. Um, another Game Boy Advance Game Boy player is 59.7275. And then it goes even further along those decimals, but that's the relevant ones. And I think DS is 0.665 or something like that. So it should be nice. around 10 seconds, I think. And of course, like the execution is different on the DS. Some people might prefer the D-pad. Yeah, a lot of people... I mean, the DS D-pads are... Oh, nicey, no. Surely not. Oh, that's so unlucky. He's going to re... I think that's just correct. That is really, really unlucky. Um, but you have to... I know at least with Scrutter you have to defeat like three Pokemon on Route 1 if you die to Rival 1. And yeah, this the Charmander the... Route has to defeat three anyways. I, I think they need more EXP in the early game, so... I know they need at least two for, for Ember early. Um, but yeah, this is... that's just horrific. At least good presence of mind to just realise that resetting was the better option there, but... You hate to see it. Like, 
Especially when you've got Scratch as well, like, you kind of almost accept dying when you're using a 95% move, Scratch is 100% accurate. Yeah, exactly. So here we will see Blue Magma will probably kill this. Okay, not keep going for the level 3 PG. I think that's correct. Oh yeah, he's modest. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And also, uh, just in, I think in general, with how early that encounter was, um, trying to bop a level 3 there can just bite you. The Pidgeys as well only have tackle, so they, they just do a, do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a yep. good point. Rewarded with a level 3 rat straight away. So yeah. I know that to get Ember, they have to do the same thing as if Squirtle's getting Bubble, where they have to bop two Pokemon and one of them has to be a level 3. If they get two level 2s, they don't quite get enough experience. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I read Anonan's notes and they said that unless you kill a level 3 and a level 4, they have to kill a third encounter as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that might be... might be some Metalcore? This is the thing, we're, we've both had a glance over the notes, but this is a... Uh, <laughs> this is, this is going to be a bit of a... A bit of an interesting one where sometimes we're going, oh, why are they doing that? The problem is I've got both sets of notes open and I don't remember whose is whose. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, Anna with a... The, despite the 25 second penalty with a clear lead already. This man is just unstoppable. Probably mentioned as well, they've really. Uh, I mean, Anna and Icy are going to get solid times anyway because they're both very solid runners, but they've definitely given Blue Magma the advantage here for getting through to round two. Not that it's particularly a struggle for him at this point because there's four people going out and two have already forfeited. Oh, really? Yeah, so at the moment, I think. Actually, that's not the thing. Let me pull up, let me pull up the information while we're not doing anything too interesting. Yeah, so, three, so two are forfeited and Roinitan also DNF'd, so at the moment, Magma can, if Magma can get a better than a 2.19.30, he's guaranteed through. This is all presuming that he gets third, he could even get second or first and then just be guaranteed. But even yeah, if he gets true. third, if he bops a 2.19.30, he's guaranteed through. Yeah, that should be pretty doable, but of course, it, it's also a matter of luck, you might just get really unlucky. So also, I mean, we can also entertain the conversation that the Charmander runners also kind of need to bop a 2.19.30. That's um, a fair point. Sub 2.10 is... is doable? <laughs> I think... I think I... think it's been done. Right. Um, in a race, anyway. But it, it's hard. Charmander just suffers a lot more. It can, like, top end, it can go pretty close to as fast as Squirtle. It's just, it's got to dodge so much more crap. Yeah. And we, we saw Ananan catch a PG there, so un unlike the Squirtle route, Ananan will not be going for a rat now, because Charmeleon learns cut. So he will just be teaching that, that to the Charmeleon instead. Yeah, it's quite a nice uh, flex for Charmander. They can catch either thing, and then whatever they don't catch is the move they can teach to Charizard. So if they find a bird, they'll teach cut, and if they find a rat, they'll teach fly. Blue's got his Pidgey, and Anna and Icy both have at least level 7. Level 4 rat. Icy's oh, he's got Ember, so I suppose that's just a two-shot, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's going to oh, okay, yeah. Smart. So, Amoeba, I know you ran Charmander, so you said that Charmander has a disadvantage here. Well, of course, it being the slower route. But are there any parts where Charmander has an easier time over the Squirtle route? In the very first split. Genuinely, the, the ironically, the Brock fight is nicer than it is in the Squirtle route. Not because it's actually nicer overall, but because Squirtle like has the potential to go so fast that you effectively play it a lot riskier. 
Charmander doesn't really have that option. It just has the best. It has the, like the best version of its strat, which is just fairly safe. Yeah, so. that makes sense. Isn't it like a four shot or something to kill the Onyx? I honestly don't remember. I just know that it's a little bit slower. Um, you do. I mean, it's still it's still Brock. Brock still sucks. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at the notes, um, and I think it's Anna's that say either four or five metal balls. I think the funny bit is that they're going to be Embering Geodudes, like a lot as well, <laughs> like throughout this run. The the big there's a lot of Geodudes, and a lot of them are just going to get Embered. Ember is a good move. So here you see Blue Magma just breezing through the bug catchers, whereas uh, Ananan and Icy will be fighting a bunch of optionals here in the forest, because Ember is not a good move against Brock, even though you will be Embering the Geodudes. Yeah, so it's uh, it's kind of a trade-off. Um, there's three, there's like three really easy bug catchers, or one required bug catcher and Liam. Uh, I know at one point the Charmander out did have like if if you had a certain set of stats and a certain HP setup, you could actually fight Liam instead, and it was slightly faster. But I can't imagine they're ever going to do that in a race. It's a bit too high variance compared to just fighting three easy bugs. Yeah, and I think that what Ananan has proved by running late surge in the previous years is that going for consistency is always the play when it comes to races. <laughs> I disagree, morally. <laughs> you want to yes. go fast. Ananan has the uh, the championship title and multiple uh, final appearances to back that statement up. Uh. Yeah, much nicer Sammy fight for the Charmander, where they just go in and press Ember. Blue is going to be taking it a bit riskier. I don't know if he saved. And he just tackled, I'm fairly certain. Okay, no crit at least. Oh yeah, Blue didn't go for level 7. That yeah. is interesting. Especially with Modest. Modest really likes level 7. Um, yeah. But to be fair, his Pidgey Colt's level 2. His other Pokemon might have been level 2 as well, so he may not have had the option. Blue did save, okay, that's good. Yeah, this is not where you want to be dying. I don't think that first tackle will matter most of the time. It's basically... It can be arranged to four shot, although with the modest it's never really going to be. And then that first tackle should probably just get him the five shot anyway. Anna bops a wild weedle. That should be all of the extra experience he needs. Actually, uh, oh, Blue's got all three potions, let's go. And if I remember correctly, Ananan will be fighting different optionals based on the amount of EXP he got here. There seem to be like a lot of variants and choices he can make based on HP and other factors later on. It's Icy's third experience bop. Yeah, the, that's probably the worst case scenario Sammy fight for for anything is a, a level 6 modest turtle. And Blue getting mugged on the way out of Viridian Forest. Did at least get poison there. Yeah, so if somebody doesn't know what Blue is doing here, is he's setting up HP to both survive a scratch from the Sandshrew coming up and having Torrent for the Sandshrew to have it a, be a 2 shot instead of a 3 or 4 shot. Oh no, Ananan forgot to save for Sammy. Oh no. Oh no. Surely that is bad. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of this in this room. I, I panicked a little bit for Icy there. And then remembered. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> so, Blue going into Liam. He wants, he'll one-shot the G dude, he wants to avoid 
Uh, well, he wants to two shot the sentry and wants to avoid taking damage, ideally. Although, getting through alive is number one priority. How can we see Ananan here shopping before Brock? Which does make sense because where uh, Squirtle will be taking neutral damage from the rock type moves, uh, Charmander will be taking super effective damage, so heals are definitely needed in the Brock fight. The blue got a little unlucky, he did get the two shot on Sentry but took a scratch. Um, this is pretty comfy, just go in and then heal turn one on Onyx, it's just not ideal. So hopefully he knows to do that and doesn't try and heal beforehand. Anna avoiding Liam. It's funny how quickly Anna suddenly caught up to Blue now. Right. They were miles away at one point and now they're entering the, art, the Brock fight at the same time. So Blue really does not want to see Rock Tomb miss here. I think he'll get Rock Tomb. 23 modest, yeah, he should do. Unless it pseudo rolls tackle at max. Wow, buddy. Uh, with his... So, so with... unlucky. Yeah. Uh, the withdrawal there is a little bit early, but it's it's probably just a safety measure. Um. Is tackling? This will probably be fine. He's gonna have to bubble on the next turn and then it's a 14 and 6. Ah, not with that crit now, it's fine. He could have bubbled earlier, although you do risk killing with the crit and then being at a ridiculous health. But that should just be guaranteed. Okay. Clean enough yeah, fight. all in all, that's pretty decent. Anna's into the Onyx. It will rock tomb until it hits because it lowers your speed. You outspeed it, so these misses are great. But then from there, it doesn't do a ton of damage. Uh, based wizard, I think that uh, the AI sees Rock Tomb like as a, as a status move instead of a damaging move, and therefore it will. I think it prefers the other moves because it's more accurate. I could be wrong on that one. And it'll only Rock Tomb because you outspeed it. It won't always go for it. It'll only go for, yeah. Oh, it will go for the kill. Well, I don't know. You might be right, actually, with the status move thing. And Ananan does not have Blaze leaving this fight, meaning he will probably be trying to set up a poison point poison later here to set up Blaze for the upcoming split. Icy's Onyx was not blind, so he had to heal turn one. I think he missed the Metal Claw as well, so his Charmander's blind instead. You can get attack raises from Metal Claw here, but they're actually, from memory, completely useless. Um, the only the only way it's ever good is if you get raises on both turn one and turn two. Oh, with so bad attacks, was... it's a range. Yeah. <laughs> that, that one kind of bad. There. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see what uh, if Blue sold Rock too or not. Oh, I really didn't pay too much. either. Oh, actually, to be fair, I, I didn't see if he's doing the the, uh, the menuing for late surge either. Uh, I saw his splits. I think he's doing late surge. Good, good stuff. Although his HP was pretty good leaving, I think he won't need to even stall. No, that's good. He might drop, well, he will drop it at 15, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so hmm. right now, Ananan will be fighting a different trainer from the Squirtle route and Oh, he did not save, probably due to high HP. I just read his notes and they said that he would save for this fight. <laughs> he lied to me. 
Why are they running Charmander? Uh, because they both can. And it is fun. Is that a good crit? That might be a good crit. Nope, he's healing. <laughs> it's got a quick attack, hasn't it? Yeah. Obviously that's a bad crit. Silly me. Shoutouts to <coughs> excuse me to the uh, the first Fire Red Leaf Green tournament champion in the chat, Kurt. Okay, I don't know. Get poisoned early, so that's surely good. I think now he just embers and KOs because he will have to deload the area. He can use those steps to get his HP down and have Blaze for longer during this split. Nice, he's not going for the uh, the last fight here. Gonna ember his way through the four turn bug catcher fight. So, I see An -An 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 both have catchers here. So, I think it's just blue that needs a cut friend. But that's possibly the worst scenario for him because that means a Paris. It doesn't have the option of sand true here. Oh, I, I too used to run fire red in the tournament and what I did when I needed Paras is I just went for the great ball and then went back to rock tunnel. Because <laughs> going for the Paras catch is pretty dumb. Yeah. And it can paralyze you and do other stupid stuff that the sand true just won't. It's fine, he'll get a 1% need run in this grass. Oh, he's actually going for the grass. Not rewarded, unfortunately. And then Anne forgets the person berry. Okay, so Ananan is fighting Jovan, so I think this is going for early Charmeleon now. Or early level se or early level seventeen or something. I did read the notes, but I can't remember. <laughs> I'll go check. Yeah, this is all uh, all foreign to us at this point. Thanks to the raid, Juanle. Okay, yeah. So what this lets Ananan do is uh, he gets uh, level eighteen for rival two and lets him skip a trainer later. So I think that is good. Luke's going to opt for the nice safe hiker. I think his HP is at a bit of an awkward level. Possibly jo uh No, he was at 14. Yeah, it's like you kind of want to do rocket with this HP, but you also don't want to do rocket in a race. I wonder if this trainer is enough HP without the second early kill to get level 17 here. Because then he could candy early for a safer nerd fight. I honestly have no idea because I have never fought this hiker before. I know this is a strat on and on does a lot with the Squirtle route. Mm. Okay, yeah, not even close to being 70. Oh no, wait, but the level 17 menu is actually only after the next trainer, not here. Yeah. So that should be enough then. Yeah, very similar to the Squirtle route. The Charman, or well, Charmeleon at this point, really wants Blaze to avoid all of the tomfoolery that comes with these two fights. Yeah, Kurt, what happened is I think that Ananan let Icy choose whether he runs Squirtle or Charmander.
if I read the chat correctly, which I might not have. Blue has his paras. Blue is poisoned, uh, paralyzed. But he has found the mom. Okay, you do no damage to a paras, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, nice. Uh, I think the catch rate for Paras is pretty bad. Yeah, that's something like 50%. It's not great. Actually, that's a pretty cool idea going for it there to potentially get the damage. To set up oh, Sorin. Yeah. Pretty nice strat. That's quite a con- yeah. It's it only works as well because he's doing late surge and he has the power heals. Oh, that's pretty smart. Well played, well played. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Blue has done a ton of routing. I know he's done a ton of routing for the glitched Sapphire route at least. So he definitely like has the brain for that. Yeah. He's easily got 17 here as well. He did unfortunately look oh, I know that wastes his Persim. Zubat, you asshole. He popped on uh, straight after the rat. He's gonna get uh, to Candy early here, if, presuming he knows to do that. Yeah, that's a good call. Gives for a safer fight. And what you saw Ananan do right there is very cursed. He taught both Mega Punch and <laughs> Mega Kick. So if you thought Mega Kick is bad, you are in for a treat. <laughs> Blue getting yeah. an unlucky disable there. Oh god, yeah, that's so slow. No torrent as well. Sorry, he's gonna be undisabled this turn. It's fine. Allied. Come on, pop him out, for God's sake. Uh, Charmander's is taking a bit of an early lead here, but not, uh, not that surprising. So I know that for Ananan now setting up Blaze in this rival fight is important because. Ember PP is very tight. Yeah, significant uh, routing differences between the two starters now, where uh, obviously Charmander wants to delay Misty as much as is reasonable. Charmander is not better than Squirtle. It can be comparable in the right hands, it's just harder. <laughs> I love that you kick a Pidgeotto for half damage. That's such yeah. a good Pokemon. <sighs> See, this could be disastrous if he misses a kick here into Sand again. Very unlikely, but... Oh. And there we see. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. You're welcome, Anna. It's Mega Punch 85%. That sounds right, yeah. It's like a slightly worse mud shot. He's probably kicking for his life. Oh, with oh, withdraws terrible. I remember this. That's really, really bad. Yeah. So now he has to Ember, and he's probably dead to. Uh, oh no. The scratch miss, okay. <laughs> the joys of running Charmander. And we can see the difference in the routes here happening, so I suggest Candy to 20, whereas Ananan is still level 18. Fortunately, this is what you sign up for when you, uh, when you decide to run Charmander. This Pokemon's reliance on kicks is way worse than Squirtle. Anna got sand attacked again. 
I don't know if he's swapped this time or if he's going. Okay, so he can wear it off at least. And that's kind of a downside of having only one HM friend, because if that situation happened with the Squirtle, they could switch twice. Oh, I see opted to heal and got withdraw. Now I think he has, maybe at level 20, he might get away with two kicks. He's gonna Ember, interesting. This might be playing around Torrent. Surely that doesn't kill with a withdraw. No. And Ananon died again. Oh my God. Blue's going into Misty here. Uh, he has no Persim, so Water Pulse is, which he's probably likely to get with his stat range, are not great. Oh, that's a really good first roll. I think he should... Okay. Go for it, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Coward. <laughs> oh, and you got punished for it as well. Okay, well, all in all, that's decent. Yeah. That's good health leaving as well. I see survived rival two, yeah. And is going for his third attempt. Okay, blue got a pretty clean misty. And is through this time at least without an accuracy drop. <laughs> Still has to hit kicks though. Yeah, and probably an ember as well now oh, since. Good. Raw. Yeah. Okay, he's the fine now. The would have killed there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he is fine now. Though. So Blue's got comfortable health here, just a potion. Okay. And Icy apparently can be scratching the rats, whereas Ananon will have to amber them. Or, not the rats, I mean the bugs. So, surely the early candy will make amber PP management easier. So, Blue's fight is obviously going to be a different kind of struggle, but still a struggle. This is uh, this is probably the great test of new runners is learning how to adapt to this fight. Okay, that was a sick Pidgeot. Eh? Yeah, and good HP for the Ivysaur. Hoping to see Bite Flinch as usual. Oh yeah, that's nice. So that's one free kick miss if he needs one. Oh, okay, man. that went as well as it could. That is a perfect fight. Charmander's, Charmander Runner's seeding. And Blue has a torrent, uh, or torrent for at least one level now. So, or one level up. He will be saving some frames from being able to cl uh, click water gun instead of water pulse. Favorite part of the Charmander route is being able to press a button on Oddish and it dies. Big fan of that. He has to punch the Cocooners. Yeah, he can also Ember them, but uh, due to Ember PP management, he has to punch them. <laughs> Punch the bug. <laughs> so this is a fairly dull section for all runners. A lot of underleveled Pokemon that just press the button and win. Other than Blue's got to try and hit a kick on an audition unless he goes for double bite. I'd go for double bite with this help, honestly. I'm a big fan of double bite in the first order. When you're not dead at least. Yeah, for sure, it's the consistent play. And I miss, I think missed a punch on the bell sprout. Christ. His notes say that he has to have 19 plus embers leaving this fight. I don't know how many he has. But I assume that too few. So do I.
Blue hits the kick. Yeah, so he had 18 embers leaving. So he is down one. Surprisingly close race, all things considered. Yeah. All within the same two fights. Although Blue has already fought Misty, which neither yeah. of the Charmander runners have done. And after this section is when the Charmander routes start to deviate as well. Even though they already deviate in the EXP, but now they will also deviate in the actual order of things. Actually, I miscounted which fight Blue was on. <laughs> I thought he was on the fourth and he was on the second. Oh, yeah. So this Onyx is not particularly an issue for Charmeleon. Thankfully, a lot of the rock Pokemon have crap special defense. Keeping it icy going for the safest pass there. Also seen in Juan de Weiss's record. Double bag mannequin. Juan de catching Australia there? Yeah. I think Ananan will be going for the Dan pass. Or the run mannequin. Even you though probably he will also be elixiring first. Yeah, it's so. going for an Abra. <laughs> Or no, it's just saving for the five. I <laughs> Any percent has ruined my brain. <laughs> your, your brain just went to pattern recognition mode. There, yeah. <laughs> it's like I've seen this before. Interesting the differences between the two Charmanders as well. Because uh, Anna's is very specially defensively weak. Oh Whereas yeah, that's true. Isis is fairly solid overall. Um, I know that, I think from a defense point of view, you you struggle a lot more in the Elite Four. Like, Bruno becomes quite an issue on Milds just in general. Um, at least from memory. And I got trolled. But did oh, beautiful pass, pass so clean, yeah. Like there he just goes showing the level of execution he's at in this game. I wonder how bad Lorelei will be for Ananan with that special defense, since water is special. Um it's probably not that bad because the first thing he's gonna do is set up Sunny Day. Oh, okay. That's cool. You, you sort of bait the dugong into doing very little by sunny daying every other turn from memory. Where's blue going? Nice and safe. Okay, Icy did not go for the Shiru Manip here, which is grabbing the ether after you talk to Bill for fake time save on the split. <laughs> the big thing that we could attribute to Shiru in this split, and we're going to give it to that instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's his legacy. When well, Ananan skips the Oran Berry, but I think Icy got it. Icy did get it, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's 
it's kind of used for the same purpose as uh, Squirtle can use it for, for manipulating, well, Blaze in this case, um, but it's not as prevalent. Like, it is rare that you actually need that precise, uh, you know, HP manipulation. Not bad for a race, though, I don't think. This is where Icy yeah. comes on into chat and tells me I'm an absolute moron, it's 100% needed. Uh, you, I mean, I am sort of clutching a, a route that I ran six years ago here, but I'm fairly certain Icy will be picking up a Citrus at some point to make Bruno a lot safer. Yeah, I think Ananan grabs it as well. Interesting. They're both doing Charmander because they both agreed to do Charmander. Um, and because it's competitive enough, and because it's round one. I can't imagine it's a, a permanent choice by either of these runners. They just both know that they are good, both decent at the round and wanted to give it a go. In the first round where it's probably not going to matter. At least hopefully. And it's fun to see a bit of novelty, a bit of mix-up. Otherwise we wouldn't have seen any Charmander this year. I don't think we saw any last year at all, because I don't think Lovesick signed up. I can't remember. I can't remember either. But yeah, I think this is the, the big significant route difference between these two. You can tell me if I'm stupid, Katanese, but I think we're about to see early Misty from Ananan. Yeah, exactly. So... Icy will be delaying Misty until after bow travel, whereas Ananan will be doing the fight here. I don't know, he might fight Dig at first. No, okay, yeah. The big Going thing for this Misty. fight is hitting something like three or four kicks. Yeah, and Starmie Water Pulse will be doing a ton with his eight special defense, so... Max roll from Water Pulse here is 50 from Starmie. Jesus. So he will be Mega Punching the Star U and then he has to Mega Kick the Starmie twice. He has good enough attack for the Mega Kick plus Mega Punch to be a pretty decent range. So he will probably be doing a decision based on the first roll. Icy's fighting an optional here. Yeah, this Elijah's a, a ridiculous amount of XP for where he's kind of sat. <laughs> Just a free one turn 700 experience is really good. That's probably okay. punch. Yeah. Clean, okay. Lovely, yeah. Had he missed there, he was just dead 100% of the time, so... Glad to see that. My feed has unfortunately thrown. Alright, so Icy grabs this voucher early here because he might be trying to set up a death warp on Rival 3. I don't know, he might have just said that he won't be going for that strat. But, yeah, uh, he's, uh, I think he said before the race started that he's just going to avoid Poison Point entirely. Yeah. Oh, Blue was dead to a crit there. Lucky there. Because, yeah, Icy won't mm -hmm. be fighting Surge here after the fight. Instead, he will be going back to fight Misty. I'm interested to see what Blue does with his uh, HP here. I think, in fact, I'm fairly certain Candy plus Auron would get him high enough to tank a Vine Whip, but that does mean spending your Auron Berry here, and that's a little bit scary. Yeah, aren't you, you risking Quick? Oh, he's... Well. No, never mind, he's doing Late Surge. Oh, yeah, Late heals Surge. Here. <laughs> Lol. Spot the early Surge runner in the uh, comms. I wonder if any Squirtle runner is doing early surge this year. Me, Bang, and uh, Peasants all did early surge in our race. Okay, cool. 
Because I remember two years ago, I think Ananan and Rondal were the only ones doing it. And then last year, there might have been more people. I think last year, most people had switched to Late Surge at that point. Yeah. There's not many people holding out on Early Surge anymore. And it's so totally understandable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the data speaks for itself. Yeah. Okay, keeping it icy going for a brick break here, which I know that Ananan won't be doing. Poison yeah, powder, uh, wow. I think that's very that's good. pretty good, yeah. Now he can just set up any HP he wants. That's, rad. that's arguably the best result. Because <laughs> sleep powder is obviously worse. Yeah. Leech seed's no, terrible. No, 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 no. No, what are you doing? No, 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 Whoa, Why? no. Why have you done that? <laughs> I didn't even do this route, and I know that was bad. Yeah. Don't think that kills? He might just be taking the damage here. I guess, maybe, if, yeah. yeah, if you're a little bit worried that you end up on bad health. Like, he's fine now. Uh, yeah, true. Uh, Icy's playing version 2 of Dodge Sand Attack. Unlucky. <laughs> Juan Lee is mad in the chat. Blue Magma got uh, bailed from healing the poison. But like doing a decision like that under pressure in a tournament setting, especially not yeah. having too much experience with the game is like completely understandable. It's, it's poison powder especially is just super duper rare. Like Yeah. You just don't really see that move. It will just typically sleep powder. Uh, AC got withdraw. I don't think that's great. Oh, it might not matter. Wow, double withdraw. Okay, never mind. Free. Easy fight. Move on. And a missed punch. That's Torrance. That's going to hurt. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. He missed punch again. No, he's just dead, I think. No, yeah. I think he... Oh, he did die. Wow. And there's... Anna has missed some raw punches here, that, like a, a lot of them. Pretty unreasonable, right? And he's probably in range to die here. <laughs> yeah, okay, hit the kill. Uh, he is actually barely not in rage. Max roll is 36 here, so... Close. Everybody survives Boat Rival, although Anna looking a lot worse aware not having the backup revive for now. Although he'll be able to pick up another one fairly soon. Yeah, isn't there one in Rock Tunnel? Oh, yeah, right, uh, like down and to the left of Martha. Yeah. But not particularly a worry, because uh, Charmander just gets free late surge as well. Like, if you're racing Charmander, there's just no reason to not late surge. Although, is one of them doing early? Uh, yeah, Ananon mm -hmm. is doing early surge. Oh, okay, I lied. Ananon's uh, in, in a lot of trouble. And I don't know what I'm talking about. Shouts to 147 eats cheese in the chat. So yeah, there's a there is a, a riskier strat that Icy could have done on his route where when he fought the lass he could have basically not stalled but tried to go for poison point from the Nidoran. And if he got it, you then play through the entire boat rival fight with poison up and death warp afterwards. So you don't have to watch the boat leave. It's really cool, but also really difficult to have it go well. Oh, you do the setup before for the fight, not after. Yeah, I think. Okay, that's weird. I'm fairly certain you play, you basically play 
basically ri rival three with poison up. It doesn't have the advantage that sleep and poison powder don't do anything. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Well, that's it. Oh yeah, you're correct. They do set up the poison point before. Yeah, I, I that's one of the few strats I remember. Oh. So, a lot of different things going on here. Icey gets to brick break the Staryu, but still has to hit kick on Starmie. I believe you can always kick punch. Might actually, sometimes you can kick Ember this. I don't think that's good enough there. Oh, Citrus Berry, that's nice. So he gets another shot at the punch. Free fight. Yeah, and I read the notes that the Citrus Berry is only when you are in blaze, so I wonder if that like triggers instantly when he enters the fight. Isn't the threshold one fourth for Gen 3 Berry activation? Uh, no, it's under half. Under half? Really? Yeah. Okay. Anna loses the 50 50. Oh, yeah, true. I was thinking about the status. Boosting or like stat boosting berries. Yeah, it's so competitive. Right. Yeah. Now we get to see Charmander at least. Surge. It's so better. Will be getting, <laughs> in quotes. Uh, so Shockwave max roll is 30 here for Ananan. With such low special defense. It's hefty still. Yeah. So now the berry should activate, right? No. Yes. Oh yeah. And I presume Blaze uh, is useful to get the range on Voltorb. Uh, yes, it is. That's true. Oh, and oh, okay. So what this does is now he sets up uh, Blaze for the Ember. If he would have gotten Shockwave there. And so one cool. Thunder Wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And That's not. In not... Place. Yeah. He would have tanked another one though. I think he said max roll was thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Good fight. And no super scary moments coming up. Blue's got uh, the Martha fight in a little bit. Yeah. Which he is definitely dead to Bulbasaur at the moment. Yeah, and I know Never. that at least this fight that uh, Blue is on now will be pretty scary for Ananon. He's dead to both Bone Club from Q Bone and Water Gun from. Or, okay, not dead to Water Gun from Slowpoke, but still. This is one of the things I, I I'll be honest, I wouldn't be hundred percent confident what to do in uh in Blue's position. You're at such a you kind of at such a good health other than the Martha fight. <laughs> like if you can if you can just hit both kicks, brilliant. You know, you are so well set up for the next split, but missing the kick on the Bulbasaur is death most of the time. Oh yeah, do you want to carry Torrent from here until hideout? Ideally, yeah. You'd like yeah. to go into uh, into Giovanni with Torrent if you can. It, it's kind of the thing, it's, it's not massively worth it. You don't want to be ridiculously high health, that can be a real issue. Um, but if you're in yellow bar, it's generally going to be fine. So he's going to opt for the save here, I don't disagree with that. Because in, in this scenario, he really just wants this fight to go well. Um, and having to play around it not going well is going to suck. And Blue still has to revive, I think, since he didn't go for that backup one. He, he does, yeah. Yeah. I also would, To be fair, I also wouldn't have hated him going for the backup revive, and then just going into the fight. That bite roll was terrible, but thankfully you got the flinch. Oh my oh, god, yeah, it that's... lived! Okay, he's fine. Yeah, I didn't realize that that's, of course, the range with late surge. I think Bite and Torrent Water Pulse is super favoured there, though. I think that was quite unlucky. Yeah. Hit the kick. Nice. What's the ra a range since he's modest? Modest uh, 29 no, no, no. might not be. 
I don't know, I won't lie, because it's slate search. Yeah, same. It won't be, it's never a range on Bulbasaur for early search. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be able to speak otherwise. Blue's showing a little bit of uh, trepidation through Rock Tunnel. He knows roughly where to go, but uh, maybe could have done with a little bit more practice through here. But there's also, there's more important things to practice when you're new to the game, I guess. Yeah, like... Decision making is far more important than Rock Tunnel movement. Exactly. Fire Red is the run about the fights, or like, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Compared to like, Emerald, for example. Because all Emerald fights are completely trivial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Do you want to start a fight, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Just banter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Blacklisting you from commentary, never allowed back on. Taking emerald like, strays all day here. <laughs> but like, I feel like at least I had the issue with Fire Leaf in that since the execution is mostly so easy, I didn't even practice the parts that I should have. I was, like, I was, I was yeah. definitely like that when I first learned the run. <laughs> so at some point I had to be like, yeah, I probably should just learn how to go through Rock Tunnel. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Exactly. Because even though like the six frames per tile bike is pretty easy, doing the movement in the dark is still a challenge of its own. I see uh, going to fight the not Geodude hiker. Okay, so I will be two shotting the graveler and he'll be taking what is this uh, no wait i'm looking at the wrong part yeah that's the next one he does have yeah. uh that graveler is scary because it has magnitude and i think you die to like magnitude eight plus uh, it also has boom as well i think which is also pretty bad Oh no, no, opting to center here. Yeah, the, t the two route differences here. Um, Icy's got Brick Break basically to tide him over until he gets uh, Flamethrower eventually. Whereas Anna's effectively skipped Brick Break but needs to beeline for Flamethrower as soon as possible. If I'm remembering those the right way around, which I might not be. Blue is just trucking through Rock Tunnel now. He's set up really nicely. Wants to hit a kick on an Oddish coming up, and that's really all he's got to worry about. Make sure not to bite that gravel, a good job. I think Ananan opted to take the center because that let him both skip the save here and skip an elixir. Mm. So. Yeah, you said that fight was going to be scary without the. Uh, or with the health he was at. Yeah. And the notes say that uh, PP management through this section is tight as well, so that definitely gives some leeway taking the center there. I mean, he's taken like 70 damage already between these two fights. Kind of silly. Blue hit the kick again. Nice. That will be his last kick, so... I think Blue's kick lock has been pretty solid throughout the run so far. Did he miss a kick? Ah. Uh... I don't remember him missing any. No, I don't. I wasn't paying attention to some of the stuff around the build split, I won't lie. Yeah, that was same. fairly trivial, but yeah, I don't remember him missing one. Sub one rock tool. Yeah, Ice is gonna take a save here for this hiker, just because you're gonna give the Graveler a turn. 
And it has one very bad move and one potentially bad move. Dudley. Yeah, so Graveler is doing what uh, 32 max here with Rock Throw and Magnitude must be doing a ton. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it has boot. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, that's good. Nice crap. Uh, Blue taking oh. the scary line there. <laughs> Jesus, I thought he was going. I thought that would he would see him there. I'll be honest. I didn't know you could go up that one. Yeah, I think Poker Guy takes that line in the record as well. I might be wrong, but I, I just remember that being a topic of discussion somewhere. I just, I just hug right side. Right. Yeah, it's such a nice visual cue. That quick attack's quite nice. That might help him hold Torrent after the uh, evolution. Yeah. Yeah, we said uh, Blue could be a bit of a dark horse coming into this race, and he's putting up a solid, solid first half of the run so far. Yeah, yeah. Like Blue and Ice have the same amount of gym fights left to do. Neither of them have done Surge yet. I know Erika is pretty trivial for, well, it's pretty trivial for Squirtle as well, but definitely trivial for Charmander. But to be honest, I have no idea how fast uh, the E4 is for Charmander. It's not amazing from memory. Lorelei is even worse. And um, you have to hit fire blasts. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think Agatha is better, maybe. Um. I just I don't remember what you do on Lance at all. We will find out. Yeah. Is, free. is it completely free? Yeah, I remember it being better. Uh, yeah, I think maybe you do. You just enter in Blaze and then... I think you have to hit a blast on, like, either Golbat or Ardbok, but missing it's just not that big a deal. Something like yeah. that. So, Anna's gonna candy up here and get Flamethrower, which suddenly shoot Like, Charmeleon kind of suffers with bad moves for a long while, and then suddenly you get Flamethrower, and it's like, oh! And this section of the game is free. And what you saw Icy do there is get the coin case, which is because we will need to buy an item from the game corner later on. Yeah, I believe Anna's going to be doing that as well. Um, charcoal is yeah. just very good. Yeah, it's like pretty weird that getting a 10% buff for fire moves is worth all that. Or is it 20%? 10%, yeah. 10%, yeah, of course it's the same as black glasses, yeah. There's just like, a, I mean, there's a lot of ranges for Squirtle in, in that route as well that, you know, Mystic Water would be a benefit for. Yeah, that's true. I don't know where Mystic Water is in this game. Yeah, I have no idea either. I, I think Blue has flamethrower as well. Really oh, nice sorry. HP. 
Yes. Um, if you can hit the Arbot range, it'll be pretty much perfect. If he's not already full Arbot. Uh, no, he's only at 32. So yeah, 95 base power, stab, flamethrower against a grass type gym leader is going to do fairly well here. So this is probably just click flamethrower and win. Oh, uh, oh wow, okay. Mag Magma went for bite there. If you've got torrent, you should probably just go for the range. It is like 9 and 16. Uh, all good in the end. Could it be a route difference? Oh, pardon. What is he at? 33? Maybe, yeah. Could be. Yeah, I guess 3 is one of the rounding levels, so. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you're probably right there. So Icy is past Erika, no need for eSports there. I've just realized why Mystic Water wasn't a good suggestion anyway. We're holding black glasses, obviously. You'd Three, two, one, I'm back in the room. So yeah, both Char Runners picking up the coin slots. Coin case, sorry. And they are going to need a ton of money. So you see Icy picking up the PP up there as well. Because uh, I think the charcoal costs like a thousand coins, which is 2k. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Okay, the Kanga's card coming up for Blue Magma. Hoping to not see a fake out Mega Punch, Mega Punch, or something stupid like that. He didn't hold. Ooh, uh, you want to bite scary. here? Yeah, I don't disagree with healing. It's a bit. Yeah, grim. that's a good call, I think. Now he's kind of wanting to see Mega Punch again, though, and he's going to get one turn for it. And a second Tail Whip here would be horrific. Uh, okay, he's going to go. That's high HP. That's really high. Um, it's not unrecoverable. He might just have to stall a turn or two on Gyarados. Yeah. But it just it does kinda suck. It sucks to see Tail Whip when you've healed as well. Like because you know you've healed for a one in four. Uh, also a very unreasonable thing to risk otherwise. Yeah, well this is late surge. Can you get the damage from the Raichu? Or Oh yeah, of course you just matter. That's I don't know. <laughs> Takes damage from shock. Thank you, Hanley. Imagine we've got two people on commentary and neither of them do late search. Yeah. How did we? Uh, how did we schedule this? <laughs> yeah. I haven't even ran a glitch less than two years now. I mean, that's to be fair, Sai. That's exactly what the char runners do for charcoal. It's a thousand coins there, and it's super worth it on in a race for Charmander. And of course, getting the coin case and getting the coins is pretty slow, and yeah. since you need black glasses as well. I'm just maybe. curious if it would if it would add enough for it potentially to be a race strat for Blastoise. Probably not, because no. it it really really helps Charmander. Yeah. So blue, at least knowing uh, he needs to go for kick strats here. That's good. 22 specials. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Oh, did he... Is there like any other ranges for water type attacks other than Kog? But what were you thinking, Amoeba? Did you see uh... weird shopping? Yeah, I did, but again, it might be a late surge thing. Yeah. I keep reacting to his run like he's doing the route that I know and he's not. It's silly. And himself, yeah. 
It's one of those things, it, it might open up different strats, but yeah, now the more I think about it, there isn't actually that many ranges in the grand scheme of things. Probably not as good as our, yeah, I first presumed it was. Blue getting a little bit trolled by the pokes there, not too bad. Yeah, the rats are uh, as close as they're ever going to get converge. They're about to converge because uh, Anna's done pretty much with uh, everything here and will be flying to Lavender once he's done a few menus. Blue's going to beat Surge and then fly to Lavender. And Icy's going... Oh no, Blue... Uh, Anna hasn't done Hideout yet. <laughs> I'm wrong. This is hard to keep track of, dude. There's like three screens. Yeah. <laughs> I need three eyes. So yeah, Ices and Magmas are gonna converge fairly soon. <laughs> Magmas uh, off to Lavender after Surge, and Ices off there after. Now has Icy done? I now I'm still wrong because Icy's got to go do Surge. I can't do this, dude. <laughs> I need to go lie down. I'm too old. I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna stop with this thread. Let's move on. Let's do something else. And I think we just witnessed Blue Magma having the wireless adapter, which makes sense since he runs Sapphire. He got a very unlucky. Can um, he? Uh, he's not won the twenty-five percent on the first two attempts. Ah, uh, he gets perfectly unlucky. Wonderful. You love to see it. <laughs> Not having TM case registered for this is pretty silly. Well, uh, that's yeah, that's just a that is a light search issue. So apparently blue might be stalling for damage here. Yes, yeah, so the fight. the vol the lead Voltorb has uh, Screech, Sonic Boom, Shockwave, maybe Charge or something. Oh no, he just X Specials. Interesting. Oh yeah. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, he's got all the X items in the world. So. Yeah, to be honest, I can't remember if this HP is good for the rival fight coming up or not. Sonic Boom doesn't give him Torrent anyway. Man, maths is hard. If only one of us had a degree in it. Yeah. That'd be crazy. Um... He's a little high, presuming that we're, the routes have pretty much converged back to what early surge is doing. Forty, like forty-five for kick is okay. What is twenty-three defense? It's fine. He just won't see a sand attack. Smile. I would not be mad about healing to forty-five, doing kick straps. Oh, late surge makes a difference. Interesting. Bloody late surge. Can't keep up. I love that we have to throw the moonstone away. Just plain faster. Big menu here for Icy. Sells the Nugget and the PP up. Nugget was in, hideout PP up was just to the east of Celadon. 30x specials. Wowie. What is this, Pokemon Colosseum? I think Colosseum buys 33 though. Not sure. I don't think what the most I've seen is. 
We bought around 30 and seed our old made for Emerald. <laughs> that was silly. Which is the better alt main? Charmander for Fire Red or Seed it for Emerald? Seed up. Not even close. Seed up was very fun. Uh, blue gets three damaging turns. That health is pretty good, I think. 22. Yeah, it's going to be about right. No 1% miss. Let's go. Love to see it. Yeah, so is this like now Torrent for Koga, but you do tank a sludge bomb? Yeah, so he's probably... It's a little difficult for me to estimate it, because I don't know his exact HP gains, but he'll it'll be something like plus 10, plus 9, plus 11 maybe, and that will comfortably tank Muck Sludge. At least, yeah, I mean, Late Surge makes it a little weird, because he might want a candy early, um, but if he doesn't and just rides with it from here, he'll, he'll be at like... Yeah, like 30, 31, 32. And that'll tank Mutt. And then... Presuming he gets a level up between there, or maybe before there, because he's a little bit higher. Um, he'll tank Weezing Sludge as well. Because that's the fun the fun bit of this run, is... Uh, managing your HP here. Mind you, he, he's got two quick attacks to dodge from rats, but they, they sort of don't matter. If your HP is like perfect going in, they sort of don't matter, because if you see one quick attack, Auron Berry will probably fix it, and if you see both somehow, Potion's gonna fix it. Yeah, exactly. Also, did Isaac don't... get the same can as Magma? It's the middle uh, one, that sucks. Dead, yeah, dead middle, yeah. Yep, yes he did. <laughs> is he gonna get fourth as well? Any of the middle three are just terrible because you have four options for the nearest counts. Edges are nice because you've got three, and corners are the best because you've got two. Yep. Fourth try on two of the races. I don't know what Anna got, to be fair. I don't think it was a middle count. I uh, know it was one of the side ones, like with three options. Yeah. No bang special, at least. What is the bang special? Uh, in our race, he forgot what can it was. I think <laughs> he did. He found the first can, and then correctly opted to fight the gentleman before saving, so that you can just combine your search safety save and you can save, and then forgot what his first can was after the fight, and just couldn't remember where it was, and basically had to redo the the cans again because he just couldn't oh, figure no. out what it was. Yeah, it's. It's not something I've ever thought of, it's, it's actually surprisingly easy to do, <laughs> the more you think about it. But... Yeah, for sure. Because he made the correct play in, in the moment and was like, no, I'll fight the gentleman first because it's better. But I think so far Blue has done a really solid performance considering how little he has run this game. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, not, not for healing the poison is the only actual mistake I can think of. Yeah, such a, such a niche scenario as well. Like. Yeah. And to be fair, I'm not 100% convinced that it was definitely the wrong choice. He might have actually taken enough poison to put himself in range for cadaver killing or something. Yeah, that's true. So... I'm fairly certain he would have been alright, but... So, rival time for Ananon. Probably pretty free. Would su be surprised if it isn't. Oh, I see. Pick up the max ether there. Might just be a bit of a safety one. I don't know. Might have just forgotten it on the port the first pass through. Wow, Anna was exactly dead to a crit there. 
little spooky. The, uh, the ball's definitely in Magnus Court here to not mess up his endgame. This is a... This is a comfy lead, and Charmander has the dis disadvantage going into the late game. So Magma just needs to play it steady. Yeah. But there are definitely challenging fights coming up, like, well, Bruna especially. Yeah. Where experience really makes it much easier. I've not seen any runners pick up the Lumberry yet, I don't think. I mean, just in general, not specifically this race. That is quite a nice little uh, safety strap. Is Lum the one that heals any status? Yes. You can Where is pick... it? So, just after Rock Tunnel, as you go west towards Celadon, there's a little patch of grass with two cut bushes. And... You uh, can pick up a Lumberry hidden on the ground in there. And if your movement's perfect, it's all one percent grass styles, so you don't risk. You, you really don't risk too much. Oh. Um, and then it has the benefit, like it has the same benefit as if you're holding the person that you know. If you do an X speed on Sabrina, you've got confusion covered there. But also, it covers you for such poison in the Koga fight and other oddities like potentially burn on you know, lavender rival or burn on. Blaine. Yeah, that's a cool strat. Yeah, that's quite nice. You do have to attach black glasses late. Um, but as long as you do it before Laurelize the big one and maybe some other bits, then it's fine. I love that repel timing, that's such a nice thing on the Charmander out. I see got the spin as the repel wore off and you just go. Oh, that's sweet. I'm curious what Magma's going to do here. We did see a fairly safe down pass, so I'm sort of expecting double bag. I, I would sort of agree with double bag as well. He's a talented Sapphire runner, so he knows how to do good movement. But he's got no reason to risk anything here other than just double bagging it for nice clean passes. It's an interesting way to double bag it, but uh, that's going to be a triple bag. Well, fuck me, that's safe. Yeah. <laughs> no worries there. Yeah, no, I mean, losing a few seconds with this lead, who cares? Yeah. No, I fully agree. One to the right, Magma. There you go. Right visual cue, wrong column. Same One to the again. left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he's listening. Uh, <laughs> sat there down like, oh, alright, thanks. So I don't think we will see Blue going for the audio lag save here. Oh, no, no, we'll definitely go for it, and Icy probably as well. Wow, I completely forgot that existed. Yeah, because we are not nerds. We don't care about audio lag. Oh, no, I care. I just <laughs> forgot that it existed. You've yeah. literally reminded me for the first time since last year, basically. <laughs> now, it couldn't be me. I, I am a big dumb nerd. I like these things. Yeah, I am as well. I just don't have the hands to actually execute it. Ooh, I see you didn't kill the Marowak. Might just be uh, a bad range. Interesting. I don't think that Marowak really has anything. It might have like Rock Throw. Or in 16. Wow, thank you. Oh, actually, I remember reading that in the notes now. Not specifically the range. No, it's, it's a better range than that with Charcoal. Actually, I do remember this now. I remember seeing this in the notes. At least in Anna's, it's like 4 and 16, but 11 with Charcoal. Maybe he's just not <laughs> I don't know, I just edited that it's 13 with charcoal. 
that, did you? <laughs> you yeah, I can actually you change the, the notes. Right <laughs> change the notes, me to raise. <laughs> I'm going to get the commentators job. with this one. <laughs> Do you reckon he pre-set up patronizers? He's like, I can, I can mock them with this by giving them the wrong information, and then be like, ha ha ha. <laughs> They'll never know it was me. Will Magma fall for the beginner mistake? He doesn't teach Surf to Pidgey, well done. That's the sign of a practice runner, that and not going into the Pokemon menu in the mantra. Oh yeah, your cursor will be on Pidgey there, or is yeah, that what you're just, referring to? Uh, in the in the mansion, so the last thing you do before you go into the mansion is fly to pallet, and then you you repel wears off. And so if you're just thinking, if you're not like thinking, you just press start and A, and then you end up in the Pokemon menu because you flew. Yeah. So I think uh, Magma got a. Quick attack because he's had to aura and bury up to 30. Um, but I did see something from Juan Lee in chat about wanting to candy before this fight. So that might be a little bit better overall. The Safari, yeah, the Safari one's not a bad call either, Ekman. That's uh, It's a weird one because not only is your cursor normally on whatever it's on, but then it, it kind of gets bumped down as well because of the extra thing in the Safari. So yeah, he's going to comfortably hold Torrent with a candy here. It potentially bumps him out of Torrent. Uh, I don't know how the, the, the late surge works with the Erica candies. I presume if he's candying here, he's going to candy one less for Erica. So it might bump him out of Torrent for Erica, but who cares. Nah, he's good. Wow, nice. Oh, you get to do both candies. Interesting. This makes the surf range on Weezing, like, way better as well. I know that for a fact. But our routes take a significant diversion here again, because the Charmander runners are going to go to Sylph. Okay, and coming up is Rival 5 for Ananan. And this fight can be dangerous. Say the notes. I'm gonna let you do the rival fight. I'll pay attention to Magnus Koga. Yeah, sure. So Ananan here setting up two X specials and then flame throwing the Pidgeotto or Pidgeot. Magma hits through minimize. So he's just got to hit an 11 and 16. And now if Anana doesn't get blazed from the blast toys, this is a range to two shot. And oh, my God, crits. Really okay, Water Gun is guaranteed blaze here, so... Wait, did Magma create the wheezing? Yes. Oh, that's sick. It's a really nice fight. And Ananan gets Torrent, so that's nice. And now he can Ember the Alakazam as well. I see heading into the same fight. I presume with similar strats. I don't think their routes are uh, massively divergent anymore. Oh, he is one level lower. Might make yeah, all the difference. That's... Oh yeah, and it's even or I don't know if that's enough to get forty for the Blast Toys or not. Nah, I don't think so. Watch me be wrong there. Ha, I know a thing. Okay, yeah, the strat is actually the same, looking at the notes. But I see his health is a bit higher. Yeah, and Icy has to get Blaze for the Blastoise, whereas Ananon had a range without Blaze. Interesting. I don't think he's going to get it necessarily. Barely not. No. So now he has the potion. Potion will be fine. Yeah. Hope to not see a crit here. 
Ananan getting Lapras to use as an Agent Poke. Good fight. And there was See? another potential place for audio like save right there for Blue Magma. Well, you know, she can run in the mansion. Yeah, I also, uh, I, well, I've seen people do things there, but I don't entirely understand that. I oh, skips the new mistake number two as well. This, this might be our guy. This could yeah, be the really one. Really solid performance. <laughs> could be the one to take the tournament. I can't quite see his, his speed ID. Twenty-eight, so that's that's guaranteed out speed on Blaine, but you can't really do anything for Sabrina. Oh no, is but it I... is it three for Sabrina? I know it works out differently for late surge because the EV is. Oh yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. yeah. I think it's fairly similar. I think he just has to X speed on uh, Sabrina. I think uh, with on early surge it's like twenty eight is Carbos and three. Um, and he didn't get bubble. And he did hiker, so he definitely doesn't have three. So I think he's just committed to speeding, unless the late surge thing makes a difference. Anna oh, no, says no, Nah in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> what does Nah mean? Which bit does he disagree with? Yeah, can you just quickly write all the speed thresholds for us? Wow, how inconsiderate of him. He's ignored us. This man wins one tournament and he's better than the rest of us. A magma be fair. hitting yeah. the... Uh, uh, this is a, a key execution point of the run, where you've got to hit yeah. six correct buttons, and then a seventh after the fight as well. Twenty nines plus three, thank you, Mac Wing. Twenty eight plus two outspeeds Blaine without what the what? No, I'm almost certain Blaine's just guaranteed at twenty eight. I can't see why late surge would be less speed EVs. I don't, who cares? We'll find out. <laughs> Worrying about it right now. And I actually think that Blue only has one speed EV because he only killed one thing and... Yes, no, he did hike up, so... Yeah. But again, we do not know what we are talking about. I have 21 plus late surge outspeeds Blaine, that's crazy. Nicer. In my opinion, and this will be a hot take, but nobody should be running uh, for tournament races. Nobody should be running anything other than 30 speed. Maybe 31 if you uh, were struggling to hit anything. IMO, IMO, TBH. No body slam power from Needy Queen. Ideally, Ananon would like to have Torrent for 46 here. I don't know. This There's probably no, isn't. No way he's keeping that. Because he levels out after what? Plus 4? 42? Um, no. Uh, Seven. No, no, I do actually. Plus nine is gonna level out. I can't do maths, dude. I can't do maths yeah. and commentate other things. I should not even attempt it. Okay, hardest part of the run for blue coming up. 
<laughs> I love it when you can see people's input displays and they don't even bother mashing anything else through this bit. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> just gonna press B. Can't go wrong if I only touch that one button. And I fully agree, it's all I do. <laughs> like, sod the mashing in that bit, I'm just gonna press B. Actually, now that I paid attention to Blue's input viewer, the, like, execution in the menus looks so tight. Sapphire Runner, dude. They yeah. are hot with this stuff. His biking has definitely not been perfect, but it's sort of an adjustment to go from Mac bike to this. Yeah, it's, it's like a really weird, weird timing. There's nothing because there's nothing else in Gen Three that moves at like six frames a tile, except uh, Acro bike, of course. Oh, is Acro bike the same? Oh, of course it yeah, is. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Imagine using Acro bike ever. You can run the bike from like three tiles away, right? With Acro bike. <laughs> really. <laughs> Can't uh, you? It's, yeah. a, it's such a shame there's no like actual spinners in this game, really. Like, apart yeah. from like one section that's more horrific than any other game ever. Uh, more just regular spinners would make the execution in this run a little bit nicer, I think. There's some for Fire Red Leaf Green Runners that are listening to me now. Like, dude, shut up. <laughs> okay, it's just weird think... that there's like two sections worth. Of practicing in this run. Sorry, I interrupted you. It's okay. I think we will be seeing Ananan go for the audio leg save here. I am watching intently. Yeah, there we go. I don't have audio on, but judging <laughs> by the load, he did. He did. I love uh, like select scrolls in the bags as well. That is, that is advanced tech. I want spinners play round two. Yeah, but I have to do so much game before I get to the spinners. No thanks. So Magnus got torrent here, just, which means he should be able to go for the X spec on Tangular Strat. Love this strat. And now the fight is free. We have a severe lack of esports in this fight. No chance for the Huan Liwei special. I see uh, also missing the elixir. Has to do the uphill bike of shame. Bike of shame. Great choice of words. <laughs> I'm interested in seeing whether uh, Ice will be going for the audio like thing here, because I know that he does like micro optimizations a lot. <laughs> Good attempt. I mean, yeah. I think that's still faster. Yeah. I think as well it's a bit of an adjustment for him because he's probably been doing attempts for the past weeks on emulator and he's doing like a first actual attempt on DS right now. Yeah, true. Uh, Magma with a nice uh, teleport pause manip on the scientist. Ooh, don't run there. Yeah. Not the biggest deal. Well, He opens up Pokemon by accident, realizes as well that he needs to go into the bag, and then realizes afterwards he could have done it on this menu. So it's quite interesting watching him uh, think through. Oh no, he hasn't done the menu. Maybe he did it earlier, but he's. I think he needs to do uh, like a Max Elixir menu here at least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I actually did not get to start <laughs> minus eight, but that is a very funny point. <laughs> Oh, that would be quite funny. Yeah, a bit of an awkward HP for Magma. 85 is going to be fine there, but he does have to double potion to get it. Not super would have been too much there, unless he was going for double X out. And in which case it would have been perfect. Uh, 
Ananar's notes say that there's a range here that is guaranteed with calcium, but I don't know where he would have grabbed it. It's on the table before the two rocket trainers that guard the doors to Giovanni's room in the hideout. Okay. That's a bit of an old safety strap for Char, I think. Oh yeah, and it doesn't matter since he's in blaze. But this is a range now since he is not. Oh no, wait, he is in blaze, what am I saying? Exactly in blaze. Uh, heal, magma, heal, heal! Oh wow, that's not quick attack, okay. I'll shut my face. <laughs> I was just expecting him to get quick attack to death there. 13 is low, I'm surprised at that tank. Oh my god, scared the shit out of myself for no reason. That must be close. Well, am I insane? It's because it's going to be a late search thing again, isn't it? I'm going to go scream when somebody says late search lol. Actively opening up my notes to find out what this range was like on early surge, the only good route. He is modest 23. 11 to 30. Oh, it was only a high roll. So Ice will be having to heal here. He is dead to sludge, and this is a two shot. So, yeah, well, worst magma was on a high roll, and I think you kind of go for it at that point because healing's sort of ass. Unfortunately, Ice will have to heal again uh, on Fortnite. Okay, now he just has to hit Ember and Flamethrower through Minimize. Just. Acid Arm was good. Yeah. Okay, good. So now it's just click move and win from here. I we're not risking the 13 and 16 on Keybone. He would die to a crit, so I don't hate it. Giovanni's potentially a little bit scary here. I don't think fake out kills. No, it doesn't. Um, but missing the range could be awful. He does have the revive still there. And at this point, there's not many other uses for it. I don't know, going for the other audio leg save there as well. Yeah, Mockwing, I know I made my PKMs not knowing these two are running Charmander. I think I knew they were running Charmander, but still made my PKMs normally anyway. Yeah, to be honest, I would have probably done it the same. Either way, I would have maybe swapped I said Magma. Really can't understate how much Magma was a complete unknown coming into this race. I'm not surprised to see him play this well, but nobody really had, or nobody that I've spoken to had any knowledge as to whether he'd even been playing the game. Yeah, I don't even know if he has a PB on the boards. No, he, well, at least for, did he remember to pick up? Oh no, I'm looking at Ananas screen <laughs> just because we were talking about Magma, I was like, did, I, did he remember to pick up Blizzard? Um, I know at least for the tournament's sake, he doesn't have a PB for CD. Yeah. Yeah, no worries for the range there, with a nice crit for Magma. Kanga range is 13 out of 16, at least on early surge. Might be better on late if he's a higher level, but I would imagine the levels are sort of evened out at this point. And now, after the Blaine fight, the runs will finally converge back. Oh no, wait, yeah, Blue has Sabrina left still, true. Uh, yeah, the Char Runners have done uh, the Sabrina fight already. So they will probably be entering Giovanni at pretty similar times. Uh, it's going to take a little while for Anna to get through Blaine yet. 
Oh yeah, uh, apparently he really needs Blaze leaving Blaine, so might have to stall a bit. Yeah, I think it's just a, a slower fight overall as well. And all the extra text of walking out of Blaine's godforsaken maze of a... Well, not even a maze, just a really long hallway of a gym. True, yeah. Looks like he has to set up three egg specials to start with here. Magma with the the sensible choice to... I think he actually potions specifically so that he can go for X speed on Kadabra. That is a mega safe. But I like it. It's actually not that much time lost to do what he did, and then he just gets absolutely free. X speed setup on Kadabra. Again, Magma's playing with a lead here. He can absolutely afford to drop, you know, five five seconds on something like this. Just to con like guarantee that he's not gonna lose anything. Yeah, exactly. how to save the turn frames. There's a uh, so teleporters in Fire Red Leaf Green work that you will exit the teleporter you go to facing the same direction that you entered. So if you enter from the right hand side facing left, you will exit the next teleporter facing left. So you can do certain movement so that you uh, you face a direction that you're going to run coming into the next teleporter. It's not super intuitive. You kind of have to think about it a little bit. Um, once you know the path, it's pretty easy. It's also a little bit scary because you think you're going to walk into the, the line of sight of some of the trainers. Okay, Ananon has good HP here. Uh, I don't know, this probably doesn't have extreme speed. No, it doesn't. That's quite a late learn for Arcanine. Yeah. We'd also be kind of screwed on last stories if it did as well. Yeah, because yeah, Ananon absolutely needs Blaze for the Giovanni fight, so now he does. Oh, we get to pay attention for crits in the Giovanni gym, so that Chippy can pay money. One dollar for every crit. There we go! There's one, baby! Uh, yes, does yes, use fire blast. Up. Sorry. There's not that many that they use, and I don't think any of them are like super duper terrible to miss either. From memory, but there's probably one or two that's pretty bad. That's surprising. Ice is having fire, to stall fire blast for... is better accuracy than Blizzard, right? It's uh, yeah, 85. it's like it's like Mega Punch, I think. Yeah, yeah which hasn't done Ananan actually. very well so far. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, Ananan's early game luck was pretty horrendous. Yeah, it was the it was the bridge rival. <laughs> he, he missed like five raw punches across the two fights that he reset. Yeah. Or did he have to reach it twice or three times? I can't remember. I think it was twice and then his third fight was still wasn't amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, both of the char runners as well. Like, I've been singing Magma's praise coming into a game that he's not super familiar with yet, but both of the char runners have put on really good runs so far. Like, no mistakes from either of them really yeah and Ananon has played Charmander like a lot because he grinded for the world record which I think is 20440 if I remember correctly I thought it was 203 but that could just be a uh, me Mandela affecting myself we have the power of the internet let's find out what main pokes Charizard it is a 204, you're correct. But yeah, like, I well, I don't know how optimized Ananar would call his run, but still, that is a five minute difference between the routes. <laughs> Surely <laughs> the Charmander run isn't as optimized as Poggy Guy's run, but still. His, uh, his comment is solid early game, slow mid game, horrible execution, very good E4, will improve this. 
Okay. Can you imagine having a 204 in Charmander and saying, I'm going to beat this? Jesus Christ. Someone please hook this man up to literally any other game. I'm begging you. <laughs> Free this man. He chooses to do this to himself. <laughs> I love as well this, like, <laughs> the top of the top four Charmanders, three of them are on your uh, Charmander runners. Three of them are on your screen right now. <laughs> Wait, you're one of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm like four. Icy bops me by seven seconds. How rude! And on emulator, so you know. Yeah, Magic Blue is in the lead by quite a bit because he will also have a faster E4. <laughs> Natural talent. Technically, yeah. Also shows what running a Hoenn game does to execution. <laughs> yeah, um, Magma's... He's not got an enormous lead. It's good, don't get me wrong. But I, I don't know, he's in the same fight. Um, but coming in as the part 3 runner and having the lead right now is gonna, is gonna feel real good. Like... And there's definitely the potential here for Magma to take a, a probably the biggest upset of the Fire Red Leaf Green tournament history if we don't analyze the fact that two people picked Charmander. <laughs> he ran through the grass and then propelled. That's the first actual yeah. mistake I've seen Magma make. It's quite, it really didn't matter either. Oh no, he might be doing that intentionally. Um, there's a safer repel route where you do YOLO those one percentiles. And then you don't have to have strict movement in Viridian Road, uh, Victory Road. Yeah. Yeah, Pot 2 Ananan's gonna create a single race next round that's gonna be terrible. But... You know what it is. <laughs> you know that would be it. so unlucky. <laughs> It's not too bad because, I mean, we're losing four races this round, and I think we're only losing something like two or three on the next round. It's, okay. Uh, it's not going to be that big a deal. It shouldn't make the difference between somebody, like, as a really good runner going out um, and not. But you never know. Me yoloing a champ fight in a stupid way last tournament was the reason why Macwing wasn't in the finals. You never know how these things work out. Like... So looking at Blue Magma stats, he's at least forced to do the safe lands fight. Which probably is the play in a race anyway. But yeah, Bruno will still be interesting. So Magma got Rain Dance here, I think because of the Pidgeot crit he's not going to be able to skip X speed because I think Psychic's going to kill. But uh, hopefully he knows whether he does or doesn't here. It was not a troll pick, he intentionally picked... Uh, oh, he's going for it. I really hope you tank Psychic. You have really bad special defense. It's kind of close, though. Um, but yeah, Anna and Icy just agreed to race Charmander. Because they both have done the run, and they like it. Uh, not really a troll thing, they're not trolling anybody, they just like the run. And he didn't see, uh, didn't see Psychic, so he must have been good. I mean, he is modest, so... Oh yeah, that's true. I keep thinking... I'm, I might have mixed up his uh, his special defense with Anna's. Yeah. Go away, Juan Lee! <laughs> Max Roll was a 67 at his, uh, at his special defense, so it would have been crazy to actually have seen it and it kill. Handing Blue the win. No. Blue has played very well. 
Don't get me wrong, they've handed Blue an advantage. But at the moment, Blue is earning his, uh, his lead. Yeah, for sure. He's made one mistake, and we're not 100% sure whether that was a mistake or not. Like, <laughs> he's done very well so far. Like, yeah, he's probably gonna get fucking destroyed by Ananan 1v1 in a Squirtle race, but literally pick a person that doesn't. Like, Wave's the only one, maybe. Mac yeah. will give him a good fight, like. Not really a conversation worth having. <laughs> Blue, not quite sure which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just as, literally as I'm saying that he's made no mistakes as well. Also missing a slight optimization where you do want to talk to the Thunder Badge and the Earth Badge guy. Oh, no biggie, really. Don't hit a trainer here, that's the big thing. <laughs> Magma is behind. No, Magma has the lead by a few seconds here. Uh, easily over. We've got two Charmander runners. <laughs> there's, there's no way it's under 1.5. I don't know if I've ever seen a Charmander E4. This will be interesting. They have Sunny Day TM. And that's going to be a big thing for a couple of these fights. Actually, I'm sure it's uh, it's a thing in the Viridian rival fight. Or at least it was on one round. Although I haven't seen it, either of them use it. Maybe that's just an old strat now. Oh, interesting. Magnus Feed is actually ahead of Anna's. Okay. This is a pretty close race, but Squirtle, I mean, Blastoise definitely has the advantage in the Elite Four fights. There's going to be some faster fights. Uh, Blastoise, overall. Charmander, uh, Charizard gets a faster Agatha fight. On average, because it doesn't have to deal with double team, but it does have to deal with Fire Blast Miss. Otherwise, I think Blastoise is faster in every other fight. Meh, Champ actually, I don't I don't remember exactly how Champ goes. I know Lorelei is slower. Fairly certain Bruno's similar, probably a little bit slower. And I'm presuming Lance is slower just because everything resists fire type moves. Okay, I just opened the notes for the Lorelei fight on and on has and this is like Garbage? Colo level notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So many branches and different scenarios. Oh, okay. You don't want to see this. <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, it's something because you have to you have to set up Sunny Day and basically keep keep it in a loop of it wanting to select Hail and then you select Sunny Day in the next turn. But it because it has Safeguard and then will stop using Safeguard once it's used it, and then it's other move is Surf and that's terrible. You can't yeah like, yeah. It's a complete branching set of paths for how the fight's going to work. Yeah, if I'm looking at this correctly, there are 10 different fights you can get uh -huh. for a lower life. And you also have to hit, like, depending on how many X specials you are able to set up, you'll have to sometimes blast certain Pokemon. So you've got to deal with that as well. Blue's got... No, oh, Blue got Hail Turn 1, I missed that. So Ananan is taking 62 max from uh, Surf here. Yeah. They've got turn one's the best from memory because you just get to go into the next special straight away. And you always get hail once sun's up, so that's guaranteed on turn two. So 
that should be a third X special, I think. Oh, blue get double protect. That's so <laughs> unlucky. Very troll. Don't get crit. Okay, so I think Anna's actually got one of the best setups here from memory. Because Sun's up, he's got Blaze, and he's at plus three. I think he just flamethrowers from here. Other than Lapras. That's a really good setup from memory. Uh, blue tanks a crit here from Lapras, so that's a really good HP. He's just going to be hoping to flinch or crit his way to the, the Lapras kill. Especially with 80, because then you get to go in and do... Uh, Guard Speckless on Bruno. That will be the test of whether Blue is... Uh... He got the crit. That is unfortunate. He will be guaranteed a, a body slam here, but he might have to get through a, a Confuse Ray after this turn. Oh, Ice Beam, okay. Don't freeze. Really wants to see a flinch here, no. No power then? No. Magma's through. So I don't think Lapras is free here, but it might just be a case of hitting a blast. Because uh, Anna has like every boost here <laughs> imaginable. He's got like. Wait, well, I don't think he has sun anymore. Oh no, that Lapras is gone. I missed it. <laughs> uh, I can't watch two screens. Lapras so how did this Bruno fight go again? Do you want plus two and a torrent and neutral speed? Yes. Yeah. So I don't know what Magma's health force going in. I think it was about 100, so I think he'll be doing... I think he'll be doing guard spellers. I don't know. We're going to see, we're going to find out. Yeah. So he's going to get rock tombed. Uh, rock tomb misses bad. He wants the damage. But he, he has ways of finagling it. So he'll now that he's at minus one, he's going not. Well, yeah, he's pretty get likely to see earthquakes. He's especially again definitely should have X speeded in case you got the crit. Okay, now X speed. And then as long as he doesn't get crit here, he's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And he tanks. Uh, uh, Mac punches punch as well, yeah. yeah so say the only mistake really there was he should have expedited turn two just in case of the crit. But otherwise, that's fine. But isn't that I bad? Because then he would have gotten rock to him, not earthquake. Oh, uh, no. Because if he didn't get cr if he didn't get crit and still needed the damage, then he could have guard spec on the next turn. Because he still has the guard spec that he hasn't used yet. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is a, a, even as like a fairly experienced runner, I still have to sit there and be like, I'm sure there's, there's a correct way of playing this, but there's a lot of different things you have to think about in the Bruno fight. It's very difficult if you're uh, a newer runner to learn this fight properly. I have no idea what Anna did <laughs> at all, <laughs> but he seems to be going <laughs> pretty fast. Yeah. The one advantage for Charizard's about to come up. Um, he's basically just going to walk into Agatha and press buttons. He might have to hit blasts. Let me check his notes. Yeah, so he has to hit two blasts. Oh no, he has. Uh... Oh no, he can attach charcoal and then charcoal blaze flamethrower kills. So I think he just wins this fight for free. Whereas, uh, yes, the e EXP routes, routes are just different. They fight different trainers. Yeah. And candy in different places. So that's why they have a level difference. So Anna gets to walk in and just press flamethrower here. Um, Magma's got a hit through, I think, two double teams. I think he got... Oh no, I haven't seen the second turn yet. Yeah, so 60% surf here for Magma. And they're going to be tied if he hits it. Oh no, that would have been so cool. 50% surf now. Yeah, and considering okay. Magma's stream is also ahead, Anna is now in the lead. I think Anna got his. I think Anna's stream got refreshed just before he fought. Oh, okay. I could, be, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But yeah, 
we won't know for certain until we see the finish times from the, the actual race, but this is close. This is very, very close right now. Unfortunately for Anna, the Lance fight is worse. Because I see I, I see a line here that says expect times three to five. And you potentially have to hit Blast on uh, Dragonite as well. In fact, I think you always have to hit Blast on Dragonite. Gross. With no X accuracy. Okay, Theage should be accurate. So Ananan is ever so slightly in the lead. It's a close, close race though. I think in uh, I think in theory, Blue is in the lead because he's going to have yeah. better fights, but... And there's always the chance one of them dies. I mean, oh, Icy might yeah. as well be in the lead in the next <laughs> two minutes. We'll never know. Yeah. Or we will know in two minutes. Magma's got a really safe turtle here for this Lance fight. He can't die from full to uh, Hyper Beam crit. So as long as he knows how to play the fight, he is perfectly not perfectly safe. Because obviously he's going to be hit throwing 93% blizzards out. But setup wise, he's going to be as safe as he can be. See, so yeah, Anna's going to be setting up speed. Maybe a defend? I don't know. And then a good number of experts. Magma's only got 30 special attacks, so he does the safer but slower fight here where he'll bite turn one, set up a spec and a, a speed. Dragon Rage for both is not great. Yeah, Magma's just making sure he's doing the right thing. Don't disagree with this. He has got four X Axe. He might be able to. Well, he might be considering setting up super safely. See, so he wasn't going to see Hyper Moon there. He definitely sees it here, so he's got to heal. Anna didn't get crit. Good job. He's going to go for I the 93%. For Sorry, what was that? Oh uh, yeah, I was just about to say that time for Agatha for Icy. He got past Bruno, so it yeah. seems to be free for him as well. Yeah, he's got charcoal as well, so that should be completely free. So yeah, Magma's on his way. He's just got to hit Blizzards now. Wow, that Hyper Beam miss was nuts for, uh, <laughs> for Anna there. He did it on the X-Defend turn as well. Really, really good, because now he's got to uh, Blaze. Aerodactyl <laughs> second as well is really funny. Final Blizzard for Magma. He missed! No, that's the one! Oh, he got Safeguard! Okay, um... I don't know what you do here. I guess Elixir and Hope? This is screwed, though, normally. Wow! Okay. Jesus. I can't believe he got Safeguard. <laughs> That's so lucky. He has to heal on Aerodactyl now. This is very, very close because of that miss again. I wonder how the champs are. Which one is faster, or are they about the evil? Let me have a look. They look about equal. There's a little bit more setup for Charizard, but then a little bit less nonsense at the end. Because there's no no Gyarados? One, two, three. Yeah, he's got no Gyarados. So Yeah, this is very, very close. I also I had I just presumed Outrage was killing there, I won't lie. Magma's also down a blizzard, it shouldn't matter, but it might. You need one for Venusaur and two for Gyarados, oh, right? Yeah, one to two on Gyarados. He might, if he goes to plus three, he only needs one. But yeah, um, they should all be 93% as well. This is going to be a tight finish. Yeah, basically, he elixir uh, Yeah. Because he elixir in the fight, that's why he lost one blizzard PP. 
So the elixir you'd normally use there, you had to use it in the fight. Because he ran out of blizzards on Dragonite. So a similar idea for the setup here. Um, Charizard's going to go to like plus three, plus four special attack, but doesn't need to speed. Blastoise is going to speed and go up to plus two or three, depending on what damage he takes. I think Magma got crit turn one, which is awful, because I think he's dead to two here. Yeah, this is awful. Don't spec. You kind of have to super and then spec and hope. Dude, Magma's getting real unlucky with these fights. Yeah, so spec now and he should be good, because he'll have Torrent. Okay, cool sand attack. That's safe at least. Right, he can go now. Sorry, I keep interrupting you. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's uh, very interesting. Uh, yeah, but I just want to say kudos to Magma for keeping his cool right here, because... Like, for example, not full restoring there and supering instead is a like, yeah. correct play. Yeah, Ananan's completely set up, so I think this is over because he just one-shots everything. He does have to hit... Uh, depending on his setup, he has to hit him. No, he doesn't because he's got Blaze. So I think Anna's just won that. Oh, oh he says not over. Yeah, he, he does have to blast Arcanine, does he? 50, 150, 24... No, you do have Blaze. Maybe he's not set up enough to be able to do it. But yeah, at this point, uh, at this point, Magma's got second unless uh, he misses this blast. And he hits it. Yeah. GG, Anna. Well played, Anna. That's a really, really solid Charizard time. Holy hell! God damn. But yeah, Magma's just got to hit, what, one more Blizzard now? <laughs> he got the freeze, let's go! <laughs> and that's GG's for Magma as well. Wow, what a really good race. And Icy will be still definitely getting a time good enough to advance to the next round. Unless oh, something goes yeah. terribly wrong here. He has something to... going to go terribly wrong a few times. <laughs> he has to get to uh, sub-219 to guarantee advancing. So yeah, this is comfy. Uh, even when he's playing Charmander, nobody can beat Ananan. He's just too good. No, that's not Charizard race record, I'm fairly certain. Only because I think I was told I set it in the first tournament. And I want to say it was sub 210, but I could be, com I could be completely wrong with that. Oh no, Icy died. Oh. Just don't do that again for like three times. Two twelve is a really solid first race time from Blue Magma. I agree. And I feel free to jump in whenever you're available. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Holy Great time, shit. I do. Holy shit! I'm shaking. That the uh, the elite four was a treat to watch. That was insanely clean. Holy moly! I didn't even know sub three champ split is possible. Holy! That was oh, really? insanely nuts. Did you go with that? Uh, I mean, I'm using race splits, but I don't think that my PB splits have that fast of a champ. I well, know. do you have any opinions on your rival too? I that fire is just ass. Like you just deal with the fact that this fire is just gonna own you until you win like three coin flips. Then you win. Yeah, you got pretty unlucky there, but kept your cool. I mean, I should have. Laid the first one. I should have reset the first one way earlier after I got sand attack. But I decided to try and it was really close to just winning. But then I missed the last thing scratch or whatever. The sand attack. Yeah. Oh, 
I mean, that fight is just horrible. I did a practice run yesterday, also had like two deaths or whatever to that fight. It's just atrociously bad. But again, somehow didn't die to Misty, which is insane. Yeah, the Misty fight was insane to clean. I mean, it looks so easy. But when you do the fight, like, I think I did the fight around a hundred times or whatever. Throughout my charm and grind, I know won less than half of them, so. Wow. This fight is just so absolute dog shit. Like, you miss once and just die. I mean, I had to revive, but even then, there's like a decent chance you still die. You shout out to your uh, bridge rival. You tried hitting Pump, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I had a boat rival, true. I was one way to lose the revive. I was thinking about just kicking and keeping high HP. For search, I was like, ah, I'll try to stall. Maybe get good HP off of Radicate, and then. I see yeah. coming in with a really clean finish here as well. Presuming that it's. Well, presuming that he hits the. Uh... He might still have to hit this though. Yeah, extreme speed is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Hey, welcome in Magma. Congrats on a good time. Thank you, thank you. GG's Ananan. GG's Magma. Nice round from you too. Oh, you? Good job keeping your head uh, during that Blizz miss on Dragonite that you yeah, lived. Yeah, that was, that was uh, tricky, but once I saw... I didn't know exactly how the AI worked, but I saw a safeguard, so I assumed it didn't see a kill with anything. Um, but yeah, it was still pretty scary. GG's all round. Icy uh, cleans up with a 216. Two really good Charmander times, honestly. Yeah, this was a solid and very well executed race. It was a pleasant to watch. And yeah, Blue, you played like super good considering that you probably haven't run this game all that much. I believe I've done... My live split says I've done 8 completed runs, so it's out of 84 attempts, so it's... My experience is pretty low. Yeah, you still adapted really well to the scenarios where you like had to keep Torrent and track your HP and stuff like that. For example, supering on the champ. So uh, yeah, I was. There were definitely some fights where I was like kind of impressed with myself. Like I think there was a yeah, the champ, and then maybe on like boat rival or something. I definitely need to work on my movement as like a big priority though. But I like the game; it's fun. Yeah, that boat the poison powder on boat rival is like unheard of. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Yo, testing. Yo, what's up? Yeah, what's up, Icy? Yo. Hello, Icy. Yo, that was a really close race between Ananon and Blue Magma. That was really exciting to watch. Crazy. I we were like neck and this. neck at Agatha, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was. I think it was like how much behind was it? Like twenty seconds going into Viridian Rival. I was like, there's no way I can actually catch this. Like Laurel is just the worst fight usually. I got was... double protect on the cloister, which was oh. annoying. But overall, just... I think my E4 was okay. I've also just done my research to make sure I wasn't lying, and I was lying. That was the Charmander race record. Wow, dang! Nice Whoa, job. Oh, not bad. Oh. Nobody's surprised. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Amiba. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> I thought yeah, I had a better but, time than I did, but... Yeah. Honestly, props to Ananon, because I was the one that suggested if we matched each other round one, hey, do you want to do Charmander? And if anyone could do it, it would be him, so... I don't know why I signed yeah. up for this. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's over. You... You... I didn't... I didn't know that you could get such a good time with Charmander in a race like that. Me neither. Like, I was actually no, surprised. I mean, I just didn't really die other than to bridge travel and once to boat travel. I was just yeah. so clean, like no real time losses or anything either. Other than like yeah. 
some small stuff like the slowpoke troll. If I had a revive there, I would have been would have had way better HP for that rock tunnel section. And I had to stall on Blaine for a turn because I got Fire Blast miss from Growlithe. So that was kind of weird. That was kind of it though for this race. It's just Chuckle is just God item. I'm so glad I actually looked into this a few days yeah, ago. The, the, the fact that we only had like a few days to uh, like iterate charcoal strats or integrate charcoal strats for like, especially your route, that's like. It's like really good. Like it makes Agatha so free. It makes all the late game ranges so free. Wait, this charcoal a new addition? No, yeah, that's been a thing for you since like five, six years ago. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. been pretty popular. But just you know, going from any percent or whatever grinding to actually doing a uh, yeah. race route or whatever out of it. I mean, I didn't really add anything other than the revive and the charcoal. And it's just, you guarantee so many ranges. Like, there's so many fights where I just die because you miss a, I don't know, a favorable range or whatever. Giovanni on Koga. Agatha is always is also a little bit troll without charcoal. Yeah. Right, guys. I, uh, I hate to move you on, but I know that first has to set up the other race that's happening in only half an hour's time. So, oh, yeah. do we have any last thoughts? Don't run Charmander. Yeah. <laughs> unless unless you're playing against me in the tournament, then please play Charmander. Um, yeah. No, thank you for a very good race, guys. That was a pleasure to commentate. Yeah, I have to rewatch that. I didn't have sound on, but definitely gonna rewatch the entire race. Please don't judge us for not knowing what you were doing. Gotta count the punch and kick misses also, so There was a few. That was Decent chunk of misses, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Katanese, for commentating with me. Thank you, Amoeba. It was a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Stick around. Let's say it's only going to be half an hour. And it's going to be another race on. We've got Truly Randall versus Zan. That'll be a bowler one, I'm sure. And then the final race is already scheduled for. Is that Sunday? It is. So round one will be wrapped up at the end of this week. Thanks, everybody.